got a nice one here on a shaky head. Caught it around this dock, right in the corner of it. Feels like a pretty good fish. Big spot. That's a pretty nice spot though. He's got a big, looks like a shad or maybe a bluegill down his throat, if you can tell. It's a nice bass. Come out of that, that big spot. I don't know if that's, it looks like maybe a perch or something. I'm not really sure, it could be just a big shad. So old, it's been in there for a while, but that big spot ate that, that shad, or whatever type of bait that was, looks maybe be, to be a perch or something. But um, that's a pretty good spot though. And we're gonna go ahead and get her back in. Sometimes when you're working your bait through a uh, brush or rocks, whether it's a shaky head jig or whatever, Carolina rig, Texas rig. Sometimes if you get hung up on a rock or a stick or, or something of that nature, just kind of hop it sometimes, try to get it off of it. And sometimes if you keep hopping and hopping, if it comes off of it, sometimes those fish will come and eat that. Sometimes they see that twitch in there. And they can't really just stand that. They'll come and pounce on it. I've had a lot of fish do that. Just get hung up on a limb or rock or something. I'll sit there twitching it really hard till it comes off. And usually I'll have one just absolutely eat it. When fishing for spawning spotted bass, you definitely want to be focused on rocks and blowdowns. Focus on places that has blowdowns with rocks around them and some shallow rocky points. Throw jerk baits on those points when the wind's blowing and also shaky head when the wind may not be blowing. And you'll really get bid in places like that. And in the blowdowns, you could flip a jig in them, or a shaky head, you throw a shaky head around them, and you'll be sure to catch some big spots doing that. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm throwing in these uh, blowdowns, and the only blowdowns I'm really catching them on is the ones with rocks around them. That was on, once again, a big, bigger profile worm, just a little smaller spot. Get back in, but I'm catching them on a Yankum shaky head rod. I'm telling you, you got to check out Yankum. He makes some really sensitive rods. These are really good rods, better than anything you're probably going to find on the market. And uh, it's uh, his website's called uh, YankumTackle.com. Check it out. And I'm using one of his shaky heads as well. So we're going to keep fishing and seeing how many more we catch.